Hey everyone, today is the second edition of our GATE 2021 Unlocked series where I am talking about how to maximize your preparation in this last 3 months. Today in particular, I will talk about how to create and execute a steady plan with a timetable. Before moving on to the lesson, I would like to start with a quote, make time for planning. Wars are won in the general stint. So that is how much is the importance of planning. In this video in particular, we will see about creating a steady timetable. What are the things you can follow or focus in each of the subject. And we will also see what can students do who have completed 5 to 6 subjects or who are just left with 1 to 2 subjects. In the previous video, we went over a basic and advanced checklist which can help you keep track of your preparation for each of the subject. In case you have missed the video, you can find them at apacd.in slash gate. So you will find all the parts of this, this gate 2021 unlocked series with downloadable assets and handouts, PDFs, Excel sheets. So all this you will find them at apacd.in slash gate. I have put the link in the description box where you can check out. Now let us dive right into the study plan. This is useful especially for those who have completed just one to two subject. So what you should essentially do is you just focus on the time ahead. Don't worry about the time that has passed which could have been due to various reasons probably due to health reasons or you are just procrastinating and time went on. So just don't worry about what has happened in the past. Simply thinking about what you could have done, if you had done this, this could have happened. That will only waste more of your time. Okay, let us keep that aside and dive right into the study plan. Our team has made a study plan for like with tips for each of the subject which you can focus on in the next three months. One thing you will want to do is you can adjust this based on the subjects you have completed. So as you can see in this study planner, you can see there is subject on the first column. The second column talks about days required which we have estimated and some study tips like what you can focus on in each of the subject. This is available as a Excel sheet which you can download. Just go to apacd.in slash gate where you can find and download this Excel sheet. Once you download the Excel sheet, you can just change this according to how you have completed the subjects. Let us say you have completed geotechnical engineering. So that means you won't require another 11 days, probably just for revising and seeing some bookmarked things, you will require some 3 days. So like that you can change the days required and if you feel like your weakness is in structural analysis. So give that extra days here and you can also use the extra days for revision. So like that you can change this study planner based on those subjects which you have completed but this will give you a guideline. If you are freshly starting as you can see this whole study planner if you count the days required it is coming to 84 days. You can plan change little bit and use those extra days for going to like attempting tests attempting full length test and keeping on revising like every weekend you can revise like that you can make use of the leftover days. So first let us see about geotechnical engineering. This is one of the major subjects. You will require at least 11 minimum 11 days to complete the subject if you are aware only of a few topics. So in this you have to cover the whole syllabus because the question can come from each and every part and it will come at least for like 13 to 15 marks. So for this you have to cover the whole syllabus and go through the previous year questions as well. And do attempt a subject test once you have completed the subject and make sure you have some short notes for the subject so that you can revise them frequently. Then comes your environmental this also you can, you should spend spend quite a number of days. Now coming to engineering maths. 
engineering maths a lot of you would have gone through subjects at least like linear algebra and probably like probability and numerical methods and a little bit of calculus either in your engineering first year or in school so i have given less number of days but if you are totally starting from scratch give it 15 days if you have completed two three more subjects and you are starting this from scratch you can give more number of days for this so this carries the highest weightage like equal to geotech it will come for 13 marks for sure so you have to prepare this with priority don't take it lightly at any cost just like it's maths and you know so if you are able to answer most of the past year questions you will be able to answer the questions which they ask in gate 2021 as well and you can also see questions from any of the branches so that is the advantage with engineering maths strength of materials even though it is like only less questions are asked like for four to five marks they are asked the point here to notice it is it is the basic for every other subject like your structural analysis or your rcc steel for everything strength of materials is very important so do give it time if you are going to study the other structural subjects and coming to structural analysis you can spend a good amount of days like at least a week on it but this you should do only after you complete strength of materials so in this don't indulge in solving those long conventional questions because mostly they won't ask it they will ask you questions which are good and tricky but not very lengthy if you have very less time left just go for the important topics solve those pyqs and try to follow the basic checklist which i mentioned in the previous video and only if you have time left go for the less important topics and those advanced checklist things which i mentioned in the previous video and coming to fluid mechanics so here also you will have to cover the entire syllabus if you have to answer every question but one important topic is your open channel flow where they'll at least ask for four marks and in every subject appear for a at least one single subject test after completing the subject and transportation slowly that weightage has increased and it is being asked at least for 9 to 10 marks in transportation if you have to score good conceptual clarity is very important and if you come to rcc and steel so this if you are like seeing it for the first time you can give it lesser priority in this there are a certain number of topics which are from which questions have been never asked or like only one or two questions are asked so initially you can start studying only the important topics only if you have time left go for those lesser known topics and when you come to surveying one of the important topics is photogrammetry and this is not a very lengthy subject you can prepare like all the subjects quickly within five six days and you can easily answer the questions also from the subject so do focus on it then aptitude as every one of you know there are it's coming for 15 marks so to previous year questions if you are able to answer most of it no special preparation is required you can just attempt one or two tests and if you are like able to answer everything it is well and good otherwise you just start practicing those previous year questions and learn the concepts associated with it and this year they have added spatial aptitude so just try to practice a few questions from that as well and these subjects which i have mentioned they come for very less marks irrigation hydrology construction materials and management engineering mechanics but they do ask very good questions from these subjects so only after you complete all of the subjects try to prepare at least the important topics if you are running short of time prepare at least the important topics and practice pyqs and give one test then you go for all those minor topics in these subjects and along with this like i, I like at least you would have completed one or two subjects the total is coming up to 84 days you will have at least 20 more days extra other than this days required so those days you can use for revision like every week saturday sunday you can give it for revision so like that you can plan when you follow a plan and when you execute that plan it will give you tremendous confidence and there will be no looking backward if you have completed five to six subjects what you should do just like how 
time was allotted for different subjects whatever is remaining try to allot the days you can follow the days required in a study planner approximately give it extra 3 4 more days for those other subjects so keep studying those remaining subjects but do revise the already covered subjects your strategy can be like you can study new subjects on weekdays and revise the covered subjects on the weekends or daily also you can allot like one to two hours for revision but new subjects you keep on studying when you are fresh and as you might be knowing the time remaining is very less so start appearing for the test just after completing a subject don't wait like i'll complete the whole syllabus then only i will appear for the test series like even if you have completed five such subjects attend attempt subject test for those and strengthen them so that you don't push all the tests to the end try to keep one month for like complete revision and mock test because you already completed most of the subjects you can attempt to complete the rest by the end of december and in january you can keep it whole for revision and mock test and if you are left with just one to two subjects you might already know what to do you have to focus on finishing the subjects you are left with and even in this video series in last two parts of this videos we'll talk about how to improve weak portions in the subject how to prepare mind to tackle new questions those could be of use to you and do analyze the test bookmark questions good questions and see if you are lacking conceptual understanding in that so try to improve on those minor things and one more thing which i would like to tell is like last one to two months focus on giving like full syllabus test subject test mid subject test so this will help you find out what sort of mistakes you are making and you can study revisit those topics again full length test you can try to appear in the same slot of your actual exam so you will soon get what slot you will be writing in so you can try to appear in the same slot like 2 to 5 means you can try to attempt that test full length test from 2 to 5 so that you get used to that timings and if you have any questions just leave a comment below we will get back to you and if you enjoyed the video like the video and subscribe to our channel and if you want any help you can join our facebook gate aspirants group so that you can go and join at facebook.com slash groups slash gate dot apacd this link also i have put up in the description box in the next video i'll talk about how you can score at least a minimum of 50 marks thank you for watching this video